Hey guys, we are going to now be going over number nine, and I'm going to speed these up a little bit because this is really redundant of what we've already been doing. Um, the table shows 20 presentations. Display the data and the histogram using five intervals. So the hardest part of the beginning is just getting your five intervals. We're going to go from three to five. You have to keep your intervals consistent. They're apart by two. Then we have to go from six to eight. Our next one will be from nine to 11, 12 to 14, and then 15 to 17. We said we were going to use five intervals. If that's what I'm beginning with. They're two apart, so they stay two apart. Just a heads up, the bell's going to ring. I apologize for that interrupts. Now we have to make a frequency chart. Before we can make our histogram or our frequency graph, we have to have a frequency chart. All you have to do is go in and count these and see each time they come. So we're going to use a simple tally sheet. We go 9, 10, 10, 9, 6, 7, 11, 17, 10, 14, 10, 8, 11, 4, 8, 12, 10, 5, 12, 10. Just went through all the numbers. Now I have my tally sheet. 3 to 5 happened once. 6 to 8, I had 5 of the uh, presentations that took that long. 9 to 11, 10 of them took that long. 12 to 14, 3 of them took that long. 15 to 17, 1 of them took that long. Now that I have my frequency table, my frequency chart or histogram should be real easy to do exactly like we did in the previous section make sure these are all even so i'm gonna have one two three four five and then this will be the categories so three to five six to eight nine to eleven twelve to fourteen fifteen to seventeen and this is time or minutes how long each presentation was this is our frequency this is how often they occurred well you have to go up to 10 so i'm just going to do it this way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and now you just start making it one three ten Excuse me, six to eight should have been five. I started looking from here, here. One, five, ten, three, one. Okay, we displayed it. Which measure of center and variation best represents the data? This you have to remember, outliers. For measures of center. It's mean, then median, unless there's an outlier. This is symmetric. If it's symmetric, it means no outliers. If it's skew, there is an outlier. If it's symmetric, no outliers, we go with mean. Then measures of variation, this changed a little bit because we included the five number summary now. So we're really picking between standard deviation and our five number summary. Since it's symmetric, no outliers, we want standard deviation, okay? If there was an outlier, you could pick your five number summary. That goes back with section 11.3. If you have any questions on that, look at your notes. Now, we called it symmetric. So the presentations are supposed to be 10 minutes long. How would you interpret these results? If it's symmetric, there's no outliers. And when it's symmetric, the mean lands in the middle. Um, I shouldn't have erased that, but if you go, go back and look at it, the mean ends up right in the middle, which is right in between 9 and 11 minutes. 
So our mean is right at about 10 minutes, which isn't that what the teacher wanted us to do? Give 10 minute, give 10 minute uh, presentations. So I would interpret this as most of the kids stayed around the 10 minute mark because it was a symmetric graph, which meant the mean was in the middle. Our mean was at about 10 minutes. So most kids stayed around 10 minutes.